I am on record to have said yes I am satisfied with the Chief Secretary. Period. There is no issue that my transfer orders were illegal and uh, the only question and issue which I have raised and which should be discussed is the premiums which accrue due to these arbitrary discretionary powers and allotments or licenses should they not come to the government revenues or should, wow. they, should they not subsidize the end consumers or should they enrich the middlemen? Now, if they are enriching the middlemen, then some policy as per the guidelines of the Honorable Supreme Court under Article 143, the recent advice, should not that be relooked into so, so that these huge premiums yes. which are being cornered by middlemen they come to either government or the end consumers. So Ashok, Ashok, Ashok Kemka, can I just one second, one again follow up question to you before I go back to KTS Tulsi. What you are saying today is that in the state of Haryana or other, other states, there are people who are connected to politicians who can say, look here, I'm going to take the license using my political connections. And then if you want to take it from me, I will get a letter of intent also cleared using my political con contacts. And then I will partially keep selling this over a period of time to you. You will give me the money, almost all the money. Therefore, it is essentially a case of people with political contacts playing the role of middlemen. Is that the real story here, Mr. Kemka, that needs to be addressed? Uh, Arnob, uh, Arnob uh, that seems a bit hypothetical, but that is my hunch that that was the business model. But that is a view in my personal capacity totally. No, but that's a very valid question, Mr. Tulsi. The system is, is not transparent. Mr. Kemka has raised some extremely important issues about the way in which licenses are, you know, given and sold and transferred. And fact is, Mr. Tulsi, in this case, one particular company has benefited out of this. It has. You see, um Arnav, I would like to say that I agree with Mr. Khemka on this question that there needs to be a policy which will plug this loophole and he is rightly concerned about the revenues which could legitimately be earned by the government going to private parties. This is, this is quite valid but the question is if there is a lacuna that needs to be filled up and if I understood rightly, Anupam, Anupam is quite correct that there is, there, there, there is no provision for transfer of license. But there is also no bar against transfer of license or joining, no, it, joining is. hands with a collaborator. In the, in the existing law, there is none. If there is no such provision, we can't call this either an illegality. So you, ca you are saying today, you are saying today that no, Robert Vadra can get a license get into a sale agreement, get 90% of the money, apply for a renewal license, get a letter of intent within weeks and have it pushed by the chief minister all at the same time and there's no illegality in this. Quite right. I would, no, so that's, no, I would only like to know what, which, which law is violated. Okay, tell me which, which law, no is law is Ashok violated. Ashok Kemka, as of now. Ashok Kemka, in your view, when you carried out, because I have today with me the proceedings register noting. And I want to put this out in public domain. I have with me the proceedings register noting, which shows that Ashok Kemka initiated an inquiry in which officers were present on the 8th. This is the noting we promised to reveal three days back. We also have a handwritten note. In his handwritten note, he makes serious observations about the business uh, practices of Mr. Robert Vadra's company. Tonight, you're being challenged, Anupam, by KTS Tulsi. Tell us what is the illegality which, we have, which, any, which Robert Vadra's company has done. Go ahead, your rebut. And then I'm coming back to Ashok. Yes. If there is no provision in the 1975 Haryana law for transfer of licenses, how has the Directorate of Town and Country Planning Haryana granted in principle approval for transfer of this license? Mr. T.C. Gupta's detailed press note today, and Mr. Gupta knows his law as much as Mr. Khemko as I do. How has he justified this grant of approval, in principle approval, for transfer of a license when the government grants the license? It's a statutory grant. And if the statutorily or under the law it cannot be transferred, how have you granted approval? 
for that transfer that no, is tomorrow, fundamental illegality tomorrow by the same logic a lawyer can say i will sell my license which has been given to me by the bar council of india i will uh, trade my license a doctor will say which has been given to me by the medical council of india there will be a system mr tulsi and i want an answer from you tonight how can this country allow trading in licenses this is trading in licenses isn't it ashok kemka let me come to you while mr tulsi checks up the legal points yep. ashok no. is, is isn't that well, a bigger uh, no, point I, that needs to be addressed i think this is taking yes ashok ashok first i'm coming back to you mr kemka mr Am tulsi I? ashok plus yes yes okay. yes go yes. ahead ashok is the, isn't that a bigger issue here potential yes, trading no. in licenses that's the moot issue that we are coming back to i'm coming to you mr subramaniam let's go deep ashok hey. exactly exactly this trading in licenses this activity which was permitted helped the company to amass the premium which should have accrued to the government or to the end consumer and this is very unfortunate and that's what is the broader issue which yes. should be discussed in the media and amongst the citizens M mr tulsi it is a critical question and a similar question. thing happens even the in this yes yes ashok this similar thing happens also in these discretionary industrial plot allotments where if you put just a simple question whatever the plots are allotted at cheaper price in prime locations you would see most of the plots are either transferred by the allottees or they are let out on lease the end industry does not benefit by the cheaper acquisition the farmer suffers by the lower mar the lower prices received the end consumers do not benefit and it is the crony capitalism which is flourishing in this country again i reiterate this is my personal view in the matter this is a this is this this can be the business model of politicians uh, me, 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 mr tulsi that you know you use your political context to get some things and then you pass it on and what mr ashok kemka is saying tonight is simple if somebody has to get a premium then the citizen of india must get the value of the premium that premium must reduce my fiscal deficit so that tomorrow nobody argues that i have to increase the taxes of the aam aadmi <coughs> because we have a fiscal deficit imagine if this is one plot of land somebody makes 50 55 crore rupees how many plots of land would be given away how much money mr tulsi would be lost to the national exchequer how much money would have been lost i agree with mr khemka i agree with you i agree with mr khemka that there needs to be a policy we need to plug this loophole because this has been going on for too long this has been going on no, for so the don't last you, don't you, years so don't you don't you don't you then think don't you then think mr tulsi with all respect that mr kemka needs to be applauded and not victimized my my bigger question to this is tonight and no, i am no, not no, fighting I'm a sorry. battle for any no, individual no, no, sorry. that if an individual because you know everyone saying you also said the other day this is a officer he has been transferred 40 times he must be having some problem you know what he is if you agree with the points he's making they are logical points they have a logical reasoning he's not fighting am, for his own individual I'm financial gain the, i'm agreeing with the point that he is making that there needs to be a policy which will prevent this kind of profiteering that is a policy which should be in so place. you are saying But you agree I'm that skylights you that agree that skylight profiteered you agree that robert wadra's company profiteered no, no, potentially no. in this case I I am I I I am talking about his suggestion all that I am saying is but Mr Khemka is not empowered to formulate a policy that's a prerogative of the government he uh, could no, perhaps that's... recommend to the government but that he's... such a policy should be formulated no, but, he's... but he can't Mr Khemka on his own Uh, overstep the policy mr kemka you overstep did which, you overstep does not forbid mr kemka to mr tulsi says you overstepped do you feel somewhere between 11th and 15th you overstepped where are not where did i overstep if i have overstepped that order is in writing it is dated 12th october and 15th october anybody any aggrieved party can take me to court and get set aside these orders and uh, get the relief from the appropriate high court instead of raising you know yeah. doing mud slinging here or it is actually an attempt to obfuscate the main issues raised in these matters the issue of probity of public service the issue of 
uh, the premium accruing to the citizens, the issue that we are all, whether it is the topmost this, politician, yes. the topmost bureaucrat or the humblest bureaucrat, we are trustees acting in public trust. We are well, not lords of the citizens. That's strongly put here. And I want to get in, I will come back to you Anupam, but I want to get in Mr. T.S.R. Subramaniam tonight. Mr. Subramaniam, today, should the system crush the spirit of uh, Ashok Kemka? Or should the, should the system, because a lot of people want the system to support people no. like Ashok Kemka? That, uh, let's go broader. Hello, on the contrary, on, on the contrary, I think it is abundantly clear through every event that has happened in the last three, four days that he has done yeoman service for highlighting this issue. Two, three, three points have emerged. Number one, you mentioned, you sort of took exception at my word kangaroo court. I am not referring to this. Because of you, because of this channel, CAG came up. Because of this channel, 2G case came up. All the entire argumentation at that time was nothing wrong has happened. This is all a private affair. It is all hearsay. There is, the, the, there is no basis for the evidence. Unless there is a formal inquiry,